Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see develop, test and publish Azure functions by using Azure functions core tools part one. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal. So the Azure functions core tools are command line utilities that enable us to develop and run functions locally and then publish them to Azure. So let's take a scenario. Suppose you are a developer for a car dealership chain. The salespeople are always looking for ways to modernize their workflow. Your manager has decided to build a set of applications backed by Azure functions. The first service he would like to build involve loan interest calculations. He has asked you to look into creating functions that can be called over the web to run loan interest calculations. And you decide to start by learning how to use the Azure function core tools and publish it to a function hosted in Azure. <clears throat> now, we will create a function locally by using the Azure core, core tools. So in this video, we will use Cloud Shell to develop our function. Cloud Shell system has the core tools and Azure CLI pre-installed. So I will launch the Cloud Shell. This is my Cloud Shell. Now, in the Cloud Shell, I'll create a new directory called Loan Wizard. Okay, I created a new directory and I change my directory to that current directory. Now I will run function in it to initialize the loan wizard directory as a functions project folder. I'll do func in it. Select a number for worker runtime. Now, when you will get a prompt if you're doing the same lab, I will select node. I will do two now select a number for language javascript or the typescript i'll do javascript i'll do one perfect now you will uh, i will i'm sorry we will see host.json and local.settings.json as well as the few other packages i have package get ignore host local settings dot json as well so this package dot json is a javascript specific file that keeps track of any packages we install and use within the code this get ignore and extensions dot json are config configuration files that can be used by the git version control tool and visual studio code but we cannot ignore them so in the cloud shell, I'll do function new command to start the function creation wizard. I'll do function new. Now it is asking me to select a trigger. So now that we are running the function crew from inside the loan wizard project we just created, which is important. So when prompted, <clears throat> when prompted, I will do simple interest as the function name. Oh, for, first of all, I'll select number 8 because I want to go for, for HTTP trigger. This one. Enter. Now for the function name, I'll do simple interest. Simple into rust i will do i will open the editor by using code and dot command okay so now this visit has created a new folder in our functions project called simple interest if you would see here okay i have functions.json i have index.js file as you see on uh, the on the GUI when you are make creating a function from the portal, right? And if you like, you can 
take a moment to explore these files. Okay. Now, we'll implement the int simple interest function. The function implementation that the core tools created for us is an index.js file. Okay. This one. And which looks for an output called name in the query string or the body of the inbound HTTP request and returns the string hello with the name. Okay. This is a good illustration about how to use an HTTP trigger, but we want to replace it with our simple interest implementation. So in the code editor, files pane, expand the simple interest folder here. And I go to index.json, index.js file. So I will replace the full contents of index.js. I'll place it new code here. I changed the code. So this implementation looks for the parameters called principal rate and term. In the query string of the HTTP request and returns the result of the simple interest calculation. I would save this file. And I will close the editor. Now I have to run the function locally. And we can do it using func start. It is running the function locally. Okay. So if I browse it, let's see what we get. It cannot reach the page. Now it says here that this is available uh, at this URL, this function. And this is this local URL is not published to the web. It's only reachable from the tools running in the cloud shell. We are going to use a command line tool, which is curl to interact with our function. To do that, we need to restart the functions host as a background process. So we can use the command line while it is running. So I'll do control C to stop the function. And I'll run the command to start the functions host silently in the background. Okay. 308. We can ignore the output of this command. The function host is now running exactly as before, but its output is being saved to the output.txt file. And we can continue to use the command line while it's running. Now I will use the curl HTTPS command. So, okay, how do I copy? I'll copy this and paste. Hit enter. Please apply principal rate and term in the query string. So this is the output that we are getting now. It indicates that our function was successfully invoked and able to return a response to us. But we are not calling it as intended. We need to provide the parameter it expects. Right? It is expecting the value for principal rate and term. All right? I do curl the command and then I'm uh, specifying the values for principal rate and term. It gave me the simple interest of the values that I gave. Now I will have to stop the background function by using p kill utility p kill func and enter 
okay so this is stopped and you can press control q to close the editor is already closed okay so this is how you <clears throat> do the public uh, to create the function locally by using the your functions core tools right so this was the part one i hope you liked it and it was informative for all of you guys if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next function the part two of this topic have a good day